Hi, I'm Naomi. I'm Katie. And welcome to Blast TV Gaming News, bringing you all the Korean game news straight from South Korea. PUBG Corp was forced to take action in their esports scene this week as the developers issued a condemning statement following a messy PUBG Mad Asia series. The PUBG Mad Asia series took place in Thailand over last weekend, but faced heavy criticism from the players, press, and even the game's developers for the way it unfolded. Media reports stated that troubles began when the venue's power went out mid-game and compensation points were given without consultation to the team. This, along with other technical issues and accusations of cheating, led 7 of the 16 teams competing to boycott the remainder of the tournament and drop out. As a result, PUBG Corp took to Twitter to denounce the event, stating that as punishment they would be rescinding the tournament's wildcard slot for the upcoming PUBG Global Championship. In new game news, Gravity has announced a new incoming title into the long-standing Ragnarok series, Yeeha Charge Ragnarok. Yeeha Charge is a tentative translation for the Korean title, as the game is currently only slated for Korean release. The new entry is said to be a new interpretation of the original Ragnarok Online, and will be a cross-platform title on both mobile and PC. It is reported that the game was developed with a focus on accessibility for the player, any place, any time. At the moment, details are scarce, but stay tuned and we'll keep you posted on any updates. And if you're looking for something new to play today, then you're in luck, as Action Square's new mobile shooter Gigantic X has launched worldwide. Gigantic X comes from the studio that brought us Blade 2 Return of Evil, delivering a top-down shooter with dynamic sci-fi action. The story takes place in a distant future where humans have colonized star systems and a player takes on the role of a legendary mercenary for the Galactic Alliance. The game launched globally this week on the 29th and is available to download on Google Play and the App Store today. But if you're more into historical epics than sci-fi, then there's another new game that you can try, with Legend of Cao Cao Tactics available on Steam. Romance of the Three Kingdoms The Legend of Cao Cao Tactics is an RPG game that follows the ancient China's great commander Cao Cao on his journey to conquer both the battlefield and nations. Nexon's take on the Koei franchise was first released as a mobile title in 2016, but they have recently made the game available on PC. You can purchase the game to play via Steam or Nexon Arena today. And we end with the latest update in the Nexon saga, as the company has announced it will be undergoing a large internal merger following the failed sale of its majority shares. At the beginning of July, it was announced that Nexon founder Kim jong Du had cancelled plans to sell his 98.4% controlling stake due to low bids. The ripple effects of the sale cancellation in Nexon's future remained uncertain until now, as it was announced that the company will be merging its mobile and PC game business units in August. It is said that the merger hopes to tighten projects and Nexon has stated that they have no plans to lay off any of its current employees in the merger. As always, stay tuned for any updates as the merger goes through. Week 5 of Contenders Korea 2019 Season 2 closed with four teams sealing their spot in the upcoming playoffs. There's still two spots left and this week, the fight at the bottom of the pack grew closer than ever. Day 1 started off with an upset that no one quite saw coming, as Meta, Athena and Element Mystic went toe-to-toe -to -toe in the first match of the week. They traded maps throughout the set, with Meta, Athena clinching it on a map 5 Busan and taking the game against the defending champions 3-2. The second game was a lot more predictable, with Gen.G continuing their win streak with a very decisive victory over WGS. The second day was a sad day for Fusion Uni fans, as their favourites were promptly stomped by DC The Sunwave, not even managing to salvage a single map in their 4-0 loss. The last game of the week was undoubtedly the highlight, with O2 Blast taking on former champs and Titans Runaway. While Runaway started strong with the win out of the gate, they couldn't edit out over the next three maps with O2 Blast retaining their win streak and earning a 3-1 victory. The Week 5 results mean that the top 4 have now qualified for the playoffs. There are two spots left, which look to be an easy pick for Element Mystic and Fusion Uni, but Meta Athena's win this week has edged them a lot closer to that cutoff line. There's only two weeks left for Fusion Uni to hold onto their spot and try to get another few wins on the board. Week 6 is starting off with a bang straight out of the gate, with Genji vs O2 Blast as the first match of the week. The two have been sitting unchallenged at the top of the table since the start, and this match will finally give one of them their first loss of the regular season. It all goes down on August 6 at 7pm KST. If you can only watch one more match until the end of the tournament, then this is the one. Do not miss it. We finally got an update on the upcoming Gauntlet tournament this week. The 10 invited teams will compete from October 9th to 13th at the Giga Arena here in Seoul. You will be able to catch the games on the Overwatch Contenders Twitch channel in English. If you're here in Korea, tickets will be on sale September 9th. We'll keep you updated on where you can buy them from. 
For more information regarding tournament brackets and roll lock, check out the link in the description below. After choosing their 12 player roster last week, Team Korea has now revealed the 7 man squad that they will be taking to the group stages at this year's Overwatch World Cup. In the most team varied roster that Korea has ever fielded, Manu, Choi Hyobin, Karpe, Architect, Haksal, IDK, and Bedosin will be representing their country this year and hoping to make it to BlizzCon. No one quite anticipated the struggle that Fusion Uni is currently riding in Contenders Korea, but perhaps their newest addition will make things a little easier for them. The organized but former Gen G and MVP space player Fuse will be joining the team in the support role. The Geekstar Exodus continues as the org announced that their DPS player Yomon is currently on loan to Nova Monster Shield and will be participating in the Pacific Division of Overwatch Contenders. Another cinema has jumped on the game collaboration bandwagon. Guess who? PUBG and Lotte Cinema have partnered up to release limited edition PUBG snack combos. Lotte Cinema is launching a limited edition PUBG themed snack combos to celebrate the upcoming PUBG Nations Cup event in Seoul. The combos include special soda cups topped with PUBG figurines. You can get the set at selected Lotte Cinema locations across Korea and it will be available while stocks last. Seoul Comic Con has started today and will be going on throughout the weekend, so if you're planning on going, let us know in the comments below. And keep an eye out on our Facebook and Instagram because we'll be going live on Saturday and Sunday. That's it for today. See you guys on next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.